Hey, welcome to part 9 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories Let's Play. We just finished off beating Seto the second, and we went into free duel, and I dueled him a crap load of times. And, of course, I got the Blue Eyes White Dragon. A very special card, a card you can only get from Seto the second, although I've heard you can get it from Seto the third. I've never been able to do it, but, you know, the Blue Eyes White Dragon is going to be a great addition to the deck. It makes it a whole lot easier, so we're going to go back and get the rest of the Millennium items from the rest of the shrines. We're going to go into the Mountain Shrine first, and... Clearly, it's based around mountain type advantages, so you're probably going to get wing beasts and dragons, thunder types. That's the field advantage, and that's pretty lucky for us because most of my deck revolves around thunder and dragon, right? So, this is a really easy duel if you got the deck that I have based around Twin Eye of Thunder Dragon and later on Meteor B and all that stuff. So, we got three shrines left, and they're all the easiest shrines the metal shrine and the forest shrine are the hardest because they have the strongest monsters these ones th they're pretty strong they're okay but most of the time you're gonna see okay on par monsters that you can get as well except for there's one card I don't think you can get that's in the mountain shrine uh, when we face the high mage and even still I mean you can beat them it it's if you have meter black dragon it's good from here so as you can see, Blue Eyes has 3,500 attack, and it feels good to be using a Blue Eyes, doesn't it? <laughs> it's it's a great card. Blue Eyes is one of my favorite cards, because I started watching the show from the beginning, and from Season 1, and Blue Eyes always stuck out, you know? Like, it was the strongest card you, you'll see in the deck, other than Exodia and stuff. Back then, Blue Eyes was so strong, and when you saw Kaiba with three of them, that was just... You know, it made a lot of people like Kaiba as the favorite character in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because he was so strong and because the way he acted was like, Oh, I got blue eyes on the best out of everyone, so... There was no problems facing the low mage, so... <clears throat> let's go to the high mage Atenza. I am the protector of the mountains, high mage Atenza. The millennium item you seek is under my protection. If you wish to have it, you must face the wrath of my mighty mountain deck. Prepare for battle! I think he's Jamaican or something like that because of his dreadlocks. Or maybe that's just me being racist. I'm not racist. Most of the time. Anywho! <laughs> the strongest card that High Mage Tenza has is the Black Skull Dragon. And with the advantage he has, the field advantage that we kind of have too. The Black Skull Dragon has 3700 attack. Uh, he makes up for it by using some magic and trap cards, some pretty powerful ones, ones that can destroy your monsters pretty quickly, I think. But, sometimes they just don't do anything, <laughs> like right here. So, look, I already got him down to 1200, that's nothing. Come on, come on. This is easy, easy pickings from here, you know? Or, unless he uses that power up and completely rapes my blue eyes. <laughs> Okay, so maybe he has some power-ups. Eh, not not that big of a deal because I have nothing. <laughs> I got acid trap hole. Perfect. That's awesome. <clears throat> acid trap hole. I don't know if you know if I said this, but acid trap hole destroys any monster that attacks you that has 3,000 or less attack points. So it's not that ideal in the later stages of the game. So I think I, I take it out. And look at this pussy right here. I have a face down defense monster. So he, he doesn't he holds off Black Skull Dragon's attack just because he, he doesn't want to like waste any late points. So I don't even know what the hell the mindset was going on over there. Sometimes like look at that. Sometimes the computer has a weird mindset, a pretty retarded mindset. I, I sometimes it's just like it's like you're facing a retard because of like look at that. Why aren't you attacking me? Ah, <sighs> that's just funny. And now I'm just like stocking up on the acid trap hole because I'm I like magic and trap cards. Oh my god, that's look at this. That is some seriously funny shit. So now we got Meteor Black Dragon and the Dragon Treasure, so we're gonna completely rape the rest of his team. So shouldn't be hard from now. <laughs> These computers, man. Got good cards, don't know how to use them. It's funny. Anyways, I gotta ask you guys a question. I was watching some LPs of some, you know, lower subscriber type people, you know, people just getting started like I am, and 
I was watching these LPs and of people just keep fucking up. Like they die and they lose and they just they showed the whole thing and like they kept dying. The, the person I was watching specifically, he kept dying. And I was just like at the point like, you know what, why am I even watching this? I can go die on my own time. <laughs> you know, I got a knife and I got a wrist. I can slit it anytime I want. Right now I just want to watch an LP, a successful LP. And <laughs> I gotta ask you guys the same thing. Do you prefer the type of LP that I'm doing right now where I just completely rape phase and there's no mistakes in it and everything's prepared, organized, you know, we got, I know what I'm doing, there's no hiccups along the road, I got, uh, you know, or do you prefer the, one, the, the realism, the live let's play where people screw up sometimes in the specific case that I was watching a lot of times. And they just show it all, and they just keep screwing up, and they don't, they don't get any progress. Do you prefer that, or do you prefer mine? Please, in the comment section right below, because I would like to know that. Anyway, so, finished off the mountain shrine. We got the Millennium Scales, I believe. And now we're in the Sea Shrine. Sea Shrine is incredibly easy. Uh, the, the High Mage is... I don't even know what his strongest card is. I think it's like Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Like, it's, it's weak, man. There's no strong cards in this in this dojo. <laughs> Anyways, so we got another field advantage because Twin Head of Thunder Dragon surprisingly gets a f an attack and defense boost from Umi and Mountain, which is kind of odd. So that just makes a overpowered card even more overpowered <laughs> because you can get it so easily with fusions. And it's a pretty strong card in the early stages and blah 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 enough strategy. I think I've stated enough strategy and uh, like to, to to get into you guys' heads. I'm raping face. <laughs> you know? I mean look at this. Two hundred life points in one turn. He only has two hundred life points left. And I'm gonna beat him this turn too. But then again, low middle mages are pretty weak anyway, so you know I'm looking at the playing field right now. I can't help but notice that it's black all around the playing field. Maybe they should have tried a little bit harder to make it more presentable, right? I mean, the black, nah. They could have showed, like, monsters or fire or something like that. Anyway, we got Aqua Dragon. Pretty good card. Uh, 20, 2250 attack, so that's a pretty good card. I would put in my deck if I didn't have a rape deck already. So anyway, we're gonna go face High Mage Sekmenton. I am the High Mage Sekmenton. Since time immemorial, it has been our duty to protect the Millennium Items. And we shall never allow them to fall in your hands. Prepare to face my sea deck. Prepare to meet your doom. You shall pay dearly for your folly. <laughs> Fuck. This guy's using big words. Immemorial. Folly. <laughs> Even though folly is five letters. <laughs> it's not something that a dumbass would know. <laughs> Not to say that everybody on the internet is a dumbass, just a lot of people are dumbasses. Anywho, so, I mean, Sekmenton is, I'd say, the easiest out of all of them. I don't even know what his strongest card is. I know he, he plays Suijin out of the Gate Guardian pack, and I guess he can power up Suijin pretty high to 35, but even still, that's not even strong. He puts it in defense mode anyway, so there's no, there's no worry there. I, You know, the thing about this game, I don't even understand it. Like... I'm pretty sure all the high mages know how many cards are in the in the game, so I don't think there's a card that's higher than 3,000 defense. So what's the point of putting cards that are higher than 3,000 attack in defense mode? It doesn't make any sense, you know? Might as well attack. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, and then he attacks with Aqua Dragon. Like it's just, it's this game is really funny. Uh, high mage segmenting is really weak. Shouldn't have problems with him at all, especially if you're using the Twin Headed Thunder combo because. Not only does Twin Headed Thunder Dragon get a power bonus, but because he uses a lot of water based, or not water, but aqua type monsters, then Thunder Dragon gets even a higher boost because of his guardian star is Pluto, and most of the aqua monsters are Neptune. So, you can get a higher power bonus, so most of the time your Twin Headed Thunder Dragon will be 3800 attack, which is really easy. And you saw right there, the Red Eyes and the Meteor Black Dragon combined to form Meteor B Dragon. Meteor B Dragon in real life, like as an actual card, is a fusion card, not just a normal monster. And that goes for a lot of the cards in this game. They're not just normal monsters, they're ritual or they're fusion, you know. So 
just because it looks yellow doesn't mean they're actually yellow in real life. Sometimes they're blue, purple, doesn't matter. So we defeated Sekhmet in soft card. He says I don't have a standard chance to get Ma Master Haitian. I beg to differ because now we have the Millennium Necklace and I got my bling back, bitch. That's right. I'm from the hood and I got my bling. Don't you touch my bling, bitch. <laughs> I am not black. I am white as can be. I make whipped cream seem like chocolate. <laughs> that came just that just came out of my ass. Uh, now we're facing the desert shrine. Desert shrine isn't hard either. I do like its theme though, and the mask is just totally frigged. It looks so vacant. It if I if you had that right in your face, I'm pretty sure you'd piss your pants. So, anyways. That's all I got for you. I'm just gonna let you watch the rest of this video. Cause I got nothing more to say, man. This game's so This game is easy, man. It gotta face it's, it's gotta be harder. It's gotta be harder games out in the world than this, you know? <laughs> of course I'm joking. I, that's just that's just me joking around. At the beginning of the video I showed that I got Blue Eyes White Dragon from Seto the Second, and I got Haitian from Haitian the first, I got Zoa and Twin Eye Thunder Dragon, and I never made emphasis on that. That I got Twin Eye Thunder Dragon as a standalone card now. I don't have to fuse to get Twin Eye Thunder Dragon anymore, and that's gonna be hell of a lot useful. Because then I can put more cards in my deck, more powerful cards like Zoa. And Zoa has 2600 attack, and it's a very good, very good, strong, powerful card standalone. Haitian the First also also gives away, or you can get from him rather, the three pieces of the Gate Guardian. You can get Sangha of the Thunder, you get Kazijin, and you can get Suijin. I have never, I've personally never been able to do it. Someone in the comment section said that he was able to get all three. Congrats and salute to you, sir, because I have never been able to do it. Although, I've heard people say that they can't get Blue Eyes White Dragon from Seto to Second. I've been able to do it if I sit down and grind for enough. So, I guess I can, kiss, 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 kin, kin, uh, blah, 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 I guess I can consider myself lucky there. <laughs> so, we've defeated the Low Mage. Uh, let's proceed and go on, take the High Mage. I am High Mage Martis, Lord of the Desert. I am forsworn to protect the Millennium Item. It is my destiny to eliminate you. Let the desert be your grave. Defend yourself. Damn, that is some dark shit. Let the desert be your grave. It is my destiny to des eliminate you. You can tell that guy has some obsessive compulsive problems. Like, he's uh, doing the little left, right, up, down on his wrist, right? <laughs> That emo, man. Of course he's emo. Look at that face he's got on him. Weird makeup, and he got that... He has, like, poles on his shoulders and head. Like, what is he supposed to be? What is he doing? <laughs> and what is he doing on this... In this duel? He is very weak, as I stated before. I don't even know what his strongest card is. Still don't. Maybe it's Stone D. I hope not, because that's really weak. <laughs> So, nah, nothing to talk about the High Mage Martis. He's really weak. I, I used a weird kind of... When I looked at him first sight, when I was trying to determine, when I was watching this Let's Play, when I, like, myself, that's where I watched, after I did all the footage and watched over it, I decided, like, what kind of faces, or what kind of expressions and voice acting what I do for each character. And Martis was a weird one. Martis was, like, he looked scrawny, but at the same time, he looked very peculiar so I try to give him like a not squeaky but a very high I don't know put in the comment section if you like how I did high mage Martise's voice again I am kind of sick I am kind of down with the the flu or the cold I don't know what the hell's wrong with me I've been sick for like seven days which is a week <laughs> I got judge man and good card not gonna use it the desert claims me this day. Some more deep shit. And we got the Millennium Skills. Oh, we got the Millennium Skills from him. Okay, so we must have got... Mm, let's put two and two together. Ooh, wait, wait, wait a second. Damien, you actually defeated the High Mages. All that remains is Haishin's Shrine of Darkness. But you can't go there directly. You must return. Go back to the Vast Shrine. Whoa. So Seto pops out of the random after we defeated all the High Mages and tells us that... 
we need to go to the vast shrine to defeat Hei Shin. That there is one more shrine that we can't get to unless we go to the vast shrine. So, I'm gonna go into the card shop, save the game, because this is the last stretch, guys. This is the last stretch of the game. This is where all the bosses come in, and this is where the hard, hard, hard boss rush is, and this is where a lot of people have trouble. So, I put two and two together, and I realized that we actually got the Millennium Ring from High Mage Atenza. So, I'm just showing off the deck right here. There's a, I think, one more card that I'm going to get and put in my deck. Oh, actually, make that two. One monster and one trap, just to help me out a bit. The trap card is a very strong and rare trap card. So, look forward to that. I'll see you guys in part 10.